Okay, I had some student questions on how to do problem 13-10 in your textbook for those of you who are my students. And this is how to calculate the economic production quantity okay, for for when you're for production. And basically uh, we're going to use a formula that uses calculus to minimize uh, uh, curves that we have. Okay. And but we're not going to use the calculus, we're just going to use the formula, but it actually finds finds a derivative of some equations. And that derivative set it to zero and then and, and you get a, a formula. But anyway, we're gonna go on and do that in a second. But for now, what I would like you to do is this is this is a, this is this is uh problem 13-10. So just go I'm gonna go you should pause the video and type all this information. I already have it right here. This will save time if you just type this in as I have it here using this. You can see how this becomes this. So I'll go ahead and pause the video and do that and I'll, Come right back. Okay, so you should have paused the video and had this in here. So I'm going to move this aside for now. We're done with this. We've already typed in all that, all that information in there. And what we want to do, we want to uh, do some solutions here. So the first thing it asks is a uh, how many? What's the optimal amount of bags per run? And in order to do that, we want to find this this optimal production run right here. Optimal, optimal quantity, and it uses some some variables d, s, h, p, and u. So we're going to define those first. So the first thing is we will we'll go ahead and find u. U is uh, the number of bags per day. Okay. So it's the production or it's the usage rate. Okay. And in, that, in this case, that's that's the demand. So our demand is how many tons per day. Well, we want bags per day. So I would say that's equal to the number of tons per day. And then I have to take that times how many pounds per ton right here. And then I have to divide it by the number of bags per or pounds per bag. And that's right here. And that gives us 400. Well, let me just go ahead and put the formula in here for you. I'll do formula. So that's our daily demand. Okay, um, the next thing we can do is we can take that daily mat demand and call that capital D. That's the bags per year. Okay, and the bags per year is I'm just going to take this and take it how many, this is this is bags per day, right? So I'm just going to take it times 200. This is simply equal to this times 200 days of operation. Okay, so that's my yearly demand. All right, now let's go ahead and calculate the P, the production rate, and that's small p. And we want to know the production rate in uh, bags per year. Well, that's that's our capacity, right? And our capacity is only is the tons again. So again, I'm going to have to say that's equal to 50 tons per day times 2,000 pounds per ton divided by 100 pounds per bag. And then it gives me my production rate. And so that's my uh, that's my daily capacity. Or production rate. Okay. Um, the next formula we need, we're gonna need S, right? It has a capital S here. So S is it basically we already have that. That's our our setup cost or the cost per run, cost per order. So I'm just going to say it's equal to this. And then H, H is uh, <clears throat> basically how much it costs for storage. So we're going to say storage. We want to know the amount of storage per, for one bag for one year. How much does it cost to store one bag for one year? And so we have the we have the storage cost right here. So it's equal to five dollars per ton per year. And we didn't know per bag per year. So I'm gonna divide that by well um there's there's uh two thousand pounds in a ton and a hundred pounds in a bag. Hundred pounds in a bag. So I divide that by that. And so now we have so that's equal to uh 
So we say this is the story of the cost to store a bag for one year. Okay? So it costs 25 cents to store a bag for one year. All right. Now, uh, now we're ready to do A. So A, what we want to find is the, is we want to find the optimal number of bags we want to run. The optimal production run and how many bags it is. So that's Q sub P. So I'm going to go ahead and make P a subscript. So I'm going to highlight P. I'm going to go Control Shift F alternate B for subscript and then enter. And we're going to use the square root formula right here. So it's equal to the square root. And I'm going to go ahead and put the top in parentheses. So I'm going to start another parentheses. And it's going to be 2 times D, which we have right here, times S. S is right here. Close the parentheses. And then, then I, so I have the whole numerator in parentheses divided by H and then close the parentheses for the square root. Now, it may not necessary to put this numerator in parentheses. It probably, in fact, in this case, it's not. But it's just kind of good a habit to put your numerators and denominators in parentheses so you don't get a mistake. Uh, and then we go SQRT, again, parentheses. And the numerator is just by itself, so I don't have to put that in parentheses. So I know that. And divided by parentheses, P minus U. So it's going to be this minus this. Close the parentheses, and then close the parentheses for the square root. So that's 1,327.95 bags. Now, if I want to round that up, if I want to round that up to even number, what I could do, is I could go into this formula and I'm going to say round up. Remember, you should always round it up because uh, this, to me, I think that just makes more sense. It's more conservative instead of rounding it down. And then how we want to round it up to zero decimal places to even number of bags. So I take the whole formula, I put it round up parentheses and then zero to round it up to zero to puzzle. And then Zero, zero decimal places, then close the parentheses. Okay, so that's my optimum. So that's my answer. Ten thousand three hundred twenty-eight bags is my optimal production run. Okay, so now let's go ahead and do B. What would be my inventory if I use that as my lot size? Um, well, that's going to use this formula right here. Well, first we got to figure I max. So what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to go IMAX, my maximum inventory. Again, let me go ahead and subscript this. Control Shift F, Alternate B. It's going to be equal to uh, Q sub 0 over P, which is the same thing as Q sub P in this case. So it's equal to parentheses this divided by P, which is this again. Close my parentheses and take that times parentheses P minus U this minus this and close the parentheses. So my maximum inventory is uh, 10,000. this many bags. And then we want to do I average. So I'll just copy this down. Now change this to average. My average is empty divided by two. It's going to be this divided by two. So it equals this divided by two okay and uh that's also bags all right uh, now the next thing we have is c the approximate length of production running days so the approximate length and production running days uh well which one would that be that would be this run time, right? So it would be Q divided by P. This is equal to Q divided by P. And so that's 10 point, we can round that down, or let's say 10.3 days. Okay, so that's the answer for C, very easy. And then uh, let me put the formula there.
Okay. And then for D, how many runs per year? The runs per year is uh, basically it would be equal to uh, the runs per day, right? I mean, the demand, yeah, it would be. Uh, The runs per year would basically be uh, your demand in bags per year, all right, and then divided by uh, your optimal order quantity, right? So it'd be divided by uh, this right here, right? And let me take that down. So you would have, let me copy this formula again. Okay, so your, op so your optimum runs per year would be that many. Okay, so just be your demand divided by how, how many, what your, what, your, what your run length is going to be. Okay, for E, uh, E, let me copy this one down. So we want to know how much the company would save on annually if the total if the setup cost would be reduced to twenty five dollars per run. Okay, so we know that. So we just need to change this variable. Now we change this variable, then we can do we can note the total cost, right? After we change that variable, and then and then uh, figure out what the difference between the two is. So before we do that, let's find the total cost. For for uh, when uh, when uh, s equals a hundred dollars, you know what? That's what we have right now. Okay, we want to know the total cost when s equals a hundred, right? So I'm going to go ahead and make this up. I'm going to go Control Shift F, Alternate B. So we know we have a formula right here. It's I max over two, which is this, right? It's the average cost. So it's equal to the average cost times H, right? Plus D divided by Q. And I'll put that in parentheses. This divided by this. Okay. And that's going to be times S, which is this. So the average cost, when it's at $100, the setup cost is that, right? So now let's figure it out. Now we're going to change this to 25 up here. And what's going to happen, this is going to change, right? Because we're going to change this to 25. So I'm going to go ahead and change my assumption to 25. And this changes to 744. So I'm going to note that down here. 744.60. And I put that dollars. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and change this back to 100. Because that's what it was originally. Okay, so what's my savings going to be? My savings is going to be equal to this minus this. Okay. Um, just let me double check something. Three, five. Okay. Okay, I see where I made a mistake. When I change this to 25, see how I made a typo here. This should be a 7 here. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, now I'm going to change this back to 100. And this is my savings. Okay. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, copy this formula for you. Remember this we get just by changing this to 25. And the difference between the two is my savings. 
And that's that problem. I know it's pretty complicated, but uh, we just did move it. But uh, we did quite a bit of work in a few, in a pretty, pretty short time. We did A, B, C, D, and E in, in about 15 minutes. So that wasn't too bad. Hopefully that helps. Thank you.